Tuesday, 9th of February, 1954, was a great and glorious day in the history of Newcastle. Especially was it an historic day for the 44,000 children assembled at the Newcastle showground, when Her Most Gracious Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh, visited the city. It was the first time a reigning monarch had ever visited Newcastle, and the tremendous reception the Queen and her consort received must live long in their memory. The children who had come from schools as far distant as Moree in the north, embracing the whole of the coalfields and the Newcastle areas, greeted the arrival of our royal visitors at the showground with a tremendous cheer. The spontaneity and youthful enthusiasm transcended anything during the royal visit to Newcastle. And here now is Ida Elizabeth Jenkins to take up the story. Now the royal car is turning into the arena itself. Very slowly the Queen raises her white gloved hand. The car draws up over towards the door. Now the Lord Mayor, Alderman and Perdue, welcoming the Queen, which is right, Mr. Perdue, is presented to her Majesty. The Queen has been handed a raincoat, an army-type raincoat, I think. Yes, and a large black umbrella has been handed to the Duke, and in the Land Rover, they start to move off amongst the children on the arena. The Queen holds on to the glass front of the Land Rover, just feeling her position, feeling that she's secure, her dress billowing out a little in the breeze. One of the children threw a pink flower, but it didn't quite land inside the car, it just landed beside. The Queen is waving and waving. The children can't have enough of that dainty little white gloved hand. Even the Duke has to hold on very tightly because they're a bump. Down through the children they go. One would think these wavers would just be worn out for the amount of use they've had, but they were made by the children themselves just in the last week or two of school before Christmas holidays. In every school they made these wavers, they're crepe paper, and they're about, I suppose, one foot long, and uh, they're little strands of paper, either in any one of the three colours, red, white, or blue. I think they're one or two mixed ones, but on the whole, they're of one particular colour onto a, a stick about, well, six or eight inches long. Now, this is a marvellous sight. Here are all these wavers, and just emerging from the top of them, just we can see from the waist up, the Queen and the Duke passing slowly amongst the children. That's a huge stand now. The Queen is fairly near that big grandstand. They're mostly girls up there, and their cheers are a little higher, <laughs> but they're certainly just as, just as strong as the cheers from every other section. Having toured the ranks of the assembled children, the royal visitors moved to a special dais, where they were welcomed by Mr. D. Drake, Area Director of Education. Your Majesty, Your Royal Highness, on behalf of the many thousands of children, from the Newcastle and surrounding districts assembled on this ground, together with the teachers, officers of the ed Education Department of New South Wales, and representatives of denominational schools, I have the honour and privilege of conveying to Your Majesty and to Your Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh, our heartfelt thanks and our appreciation of your visit. We are deeply conscious of the traditions of our empire, of its magnitude and freedom, and of its Christian ideals. We are proud of Australia's part in that empire, 
and we are privileged to be ruled with such sympathetic understanding and graciousness by your majesty. The memory of this visit will strengthen our children in the true spirit of the empire and will fill their hearts with an everlasting inspiration and desire to serve your majesty with loyalty and devotion. You have given my husband and me a great welcome. I thank you for it and for the flowers that you have presented to me. I only wish that my children could be here today to meet you as I have done. You, who are boys and girls today, will soon be grown up men and women. And then it will be your proud responsibility to protect, protect and govern this great country of Australia. I want you to know but as your queen, I believe that you will do it well and that you will be good Australians in every way. I wish you and your teachers and all who are concerned with your education every happiness now and in the years that lie ahead. And on that most impressive note, the singing of the national anthem by the 44,000 school children at the Newcastle showground, Her Most Gracious Majesty and His Royal Highness proceeded on the royal progress through Newcastle on this most historic day, 9th of February, 1954.